Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero back here once again with another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. That's right, we got some Kane's Wrath action and I know what you're looking at. You're looking at the, the factions here. Steel Talon Mirror and Unleashed UAs in the, in the video. That's right, it's Unleashed everyone's most popular person to look at doing crazy stuff. And yes, we do have Master Leaf in here as well, but he's playing his Steel Talon, so no cheap, nasty... I uh, try 59 here, but anyway, if you haven't seen Master Leaf's latest VOD, let's just go over and take a peek at some of the things that he said. And no, Green Zero, we won't be mentioning anything about Ladder Wars. Possibly from Green Zero. Green Zero does love to build flame tanks. Uh, well, <laughs> I've gathered that information anyways. And oh man, I just lost it. Man, I lost my... Oh man, it's just... If, if you don't realize, like, Master League lost the Ladder Wars finals to Mass Black Tank Strats, <laughs> and he just kind of, like, said that. And then there's a slight pause after he says it, because he's just realized what he said. That was hilarious. Oh, no, I should stop sledging Master Leaf. That's not very nice at all. Master Leaf, I don't hate you. I dislike you. <laughs> but let's start, let's get into this game, because you're like, oh, Green Zero, stop talking smack. We want to see um, these guys play. Uh, we have up, and didn't even look at the colors. Okay, Master Leaf. There you go, you got pink, just like your traveler, except your steel talons, because they look so ferocious when they're pink. And, uh, I mean, screen, they do. Screen looks scary when they're pink or purple, don't they? But uh, steel talons, when they're pink, I mean, not as uh, not as scary. What are you doing, Unleashed? Where's your barracks? I was going to say, that took a long time to put down. What's going on there? You're letting Master Leaf get a one-up on you. Um, hopefully, um, Unleashed wins this one here, but I can't remember who uploaded it, because I quickly saw it on the replay tab, and I downloaded it so fast, I was like, steel talon mirror, like, yeah. And um, yeah, it's going to be good. I hope you all enjoy the, the content on my channel. It's picking up a bit, as you've noticed. Of course, I'm going away for the weekend, but I will be taking my Kane's Wrath discs with me, and uh, I will be installing it on another computer, because um, I'm going away for like five days. But I've got like all this media lined up on my channel to release at certain points in time, so there's still going to be like a video every two, three days, or even less at the moment. I think I've got like one video a day for the last three days, and then there's two more coming up as well, so there'll be plenty of content. Obviously, I've reorganized myself again, and hopefully the Kane's Wrath will flow and see some more generals uh, too, or play for free. Anyway, these guys just uh, just taking their, their bits and pieces up here now. Uh, I just forgot to switch my speakers off. I don't want to <laughs> hear the sound echo back through my mic, uh, because that would be bad for you guys. Uh, of course, you guys are going to be able to hear the sound just fine. Oh, Unleashed, you might want to grab that, uh, that spike, buddy. There we go. Uh, only pausing for a moment there. He's going to get the, the spikes exactly the same time as what Master Leaf is, really. And uh, Master Leaf, what's he going for? Uh, not much. This is 1.02 plus, by the way, so Steel Talon Harvesters, uh, if you didn't know, in 1.02, harvest a lot slower. But uh, CGF is like, oh, well, okay, I might just have to fix that and make sure they harvest properly, and uh, he might want to move this other harvester to the other refinery. Um, no, he should have placed it here, I reckon, just move the other harvester, because now it's going to still sit here for a quite a significant amount of time, as you can see, before the other one. It's, it's not really doing anything if it's just sitting there. And uh, he doesn't move that across. Oh, no! Oh no, we've completely missed that there is an airfield rush here. God, how do I miss that? And uh, I'm assuming he's got Bloodhounds. Has he got Bloodhounds? Can you see V35s anyway? I can't see any V35s. He did sell the comm center and he's got the war factory. Is he going to sell? I don't think, I don't know what, what he did. He did some, he didn't even upgrade his power plant, but he's only got three orcas and Master Leaf knows about it. I mean, he needs, he needs more orcas. He doesn't have enough. He's going to get one harvester. And oh man, perfectly puts the perfect amount of rockets in it and gets away with all of his orcas. Now that's important. But did he get enough? Did he get enough? Only harvesting a little bit of tip there, so that harvester will go back. Oh, not full. I mean, it's almost full, so it should be fine. Master Leaf must have got a heads up on it. And uh, yeah, he's got a uh, pit bull there now. I don't think, did he lose it? I don't know why Unleash does this three orca build thing. It must have something to do with his war factory or something like that. But uh, let's see if this is a harvester. It is a harvester, so that's actually good news for him because it'll obviously give him an economic edge over Master Leaf. He's only got two. He's got two ref. Uh, now, now he's doing pretty good now. He's got another harvester out there. He's got a few pits, but he's not going to leave his field because obviously the orchids are much faster and on decision. There's so much area where they can just escape to. And of course, uh, Unleash does have a tower as well. Did not even notice that. So yeah, uh, aircraft on decision, reasonably good, especially Firehawks. Firehawks own on decision, but uh, Orcas here, they've got a lot of room to escape to. And this ridge here, uh, as a lot of people know, is like super deadly. It's it's just so good to just peek over the top. But you gotta be careful, he can't go in blind. If he goes in blind, he's gonna be in trouble. And oh, he's not gonna lose that Orca. He needs three shots to hit the orc to kill the Orca. Not going for any hard points. We have an engineer maybe calling in the V-35 and to, to grab some more spikes and things like that, because Unleash is pretty crazy. Uh, we know he likes to do stuff like that. He just bring the orcas back now. They kind of needed to do a little bit more damage. Uh, scan goes down, so Master Leaf has got his comm center. Uh, he's at five and two. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's at five and two. Unleash is at four and one. Far out. He needs another ref. He needs it fast. He's going to have harvesters. He's going to have two harvesters lining up in a moment. And he's calling in the B35s. Obviously going to go out. He could actually get the M spike, I reckon. I mean, he can get actually can get both spikes, can't he? They're not guarded. This one here has got a rifleman scout. Oh, you should have your orcs on hold. Fire unleashed. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Jesus. They just can't shoot at infantry, by the way. If that's what that's, you're wondering what they're doing. But yeah, Unleash is just driving around them. I guess he's not losing them, but he kind of needed to do a little bit more damage. Because now Master Leaf is sitting. He's, he's doing pretty good. He's got his own airfield up, so Unleash is going to have to worry about that soon. Pitbull is really cost-effective counter to Orcus. Oh, 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 why is that? I think the Orcus took it out. I don't think it was a tower kill. It, uh, um, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, Orcus, he's done a good job not to actually lose any of those. And b 35 is coming in now, landing at both the enemy spikes. Is that? No, that's not his Master Leafs. And he should be able to secure that. Oh, we got more. We got more B-35s from Master Leaf as well. And uh, Unleash has taken all four spikes. He's got all four spikes. But he's going to land below the tower. And he's going to go get Unleash Spike. But there is Pitbulls here. Oh, no, the V-35 might get shot down before it can land the Engineer. Oh, he does not land the Engineer. He goes down. Let's see if the other V-35... Oh, no, Unleash. Not, not Unleash. Master Leaf hasn't given the land order at the moment. He just managed to take the V-35 out before it landed. And he may not have got the Engineer if it had landed. He's going to come over here. And I think he's going to be able to unload this Engineer. And, yeah, he does. He unloads the Engineer. V-35 is going to get shot down. But, uh, oh, and he does get he does get the splash kill on the Engineer. So Master Leaf, unfortunately, Unleash just too good at the mind games here with uh, getting <laughs> sending out crazy strats like that. He's still only got three Orcas. His, uh, his field is totally undefended, and Master Leaf does have Orcas somewhere. I'm just scouring the map for them. I can't actually see them. There they are. They're just crossing the path of Unleashed. Oh, no, they're going to go past all of Unleashed and here. Can he get a kill off? No, he can't get a kill off. There's going to be two attacks at the same time. Orcas come in. Kill a Harvester, but some of them go down. And meanwhile, he's going to come in here. He might be able to score a second Harvester. Meanwhile, oh, it looks like uh, Master Leaf is coming in with his own Orcas, but he's just flying straight across, trying to get out of the double A. Pipple Orca, no, Pipple Army here, trying to fight with the Harvesters. Another Harvester goes down, and Master Leaf has lost three Harvesters. Now those Harvesters are overlapping meanwhile and harvester does go down from uh from uh unleashed he does lose one he's going to get a fourth harvester here he's going to get a fourth and maybe even a fifth if he just suicides in no he's going to lose the remainder of his units there and master did he get any orcas away he's got three orcas away so he lost an orca for a harvester which is a good trade but he lost four harvesters at his main base i mean unleash expended all of his pit bulls but that was definitely worth it he could put a lot of pain onto master leaf then again I'm just looking at Master Leaf now, you can tell he doesn't play Steel Talents because he's not, he's kind of getting roughed up a fair bit. And what's happening over here? Oh, another V-35 is here, but uh, I think he's going to be able to land. And, uh, oh, one more shot from the Pitbull, I reckon. No, he drops the Engineer off. And he's going to go for the uh, Tower. Is he? Yes, he does. He scores the Tower from Unleashed. But Unleashed is just going to sit there. He might actually be able to shoot the V-35 down, which doesn't seem to want to leave the battle. Uh, that's pretty dangerous, uh, V-35 pilots. Uh, oh, jeez, there he goes. I'm not sure where he's going. I'm not Sometimes he actually give them orders like that, and Unleash actually is in a bit of trouble. He doesn't have the tower. He's going to be attacked, and he doesn't have anything to defend. Oh man, he needs some Titans. He needs something. He's got a tech center. He's still Talons though, and he doesn't have AP ammo. He's going to get hit. If uh, Master Leaf goes, he can score some Harvester kills here. He's calling in the Bloodhound support power. He needs those like right now, and he's definitely going to lose a Harvester if he just goes. You know, the Orc is going to be fended off and Unleashed. Oh man, he actually managed to scare Master Leaf away. He doesn't score an Orca kill, unfortunately. Unleash, of course, holds four spikes to Master Leaf's zero spikes. And he, yes, he did manage to take away one of the towers. Another V-35 here. God, this is the most V-35s I've seen in a match ever. And he does manage to shoot it down. The engineer does not manage to get out. As you can see there, if the V-35 blows up, the engineer actually flies out and hits the ground. And oh no, these two wolves, unfortunately, are going to be a... Uh, they're going to go down to these units over here. we got a hammerhead rolling around there, and we have... What's happening here? Oh, there's another V-35, and it's going to go down, and he's going to stop it. Oh, this is crazy. Both sides getting hammerheads, pit bulls, orcas. They're all just all over the place, aren't they? Just, they're just fighting for the spikes. They're just it's a total mind game here. They're trying to get the one up on each other, but Unleash, man, 40 cred a second. That is going to be sitting pretty. He does lose some units to the tower. That's uh, one of the very rare occasions where you see the towers actually change hands. Normally, once someone gets them, they'll have them till it's destroyed. But Unleash might want to do something about that. He's got a Steel Talons map. He's trying to shoot down the tower now. Doesn't have APM. He might want to invest in that. He is going for an upgrade from his tech center. It might be Railguns. Although you think he might want to go for Behemoths on this map here. That'd be a lot better. Hammerhead is going to move behind or down and around here. And no, he's actually going for uh, for, uh, for Mammoth Tanks here. I would have thought maybe... It, I mean, it's a Behemoth map. But uh, I guess if he's got Railguns and he's get, against another Steel Talons player... I mean, uh, Shockwave Artillery, you can't use it against uh, Steel Talon's armor, but you can use it against Steel Talon's Behemoth. 
and he is going to be able to pick off one there. Nice causing damage there. There is a surveyor there. If Master Leaf spots it, he might be able to do something about it. MCV is under attack. Nothing critical. Units firing in the middle here. Nothing uh, too special either. That surveyor though. And Master Leaf is going to evac here. I'm not sure if he even has enough uh, ammo left to take out that... Uh, that surveyor anyway. He did marvellous this main field. He's got triple rocket and he's going to have one engineer in there just for a bit of repairs. And that surveyor is definitely going to go down. Yeah, Master Leaf has seen it. And he does deploy. This causes Master Leaf's units to stop attacking it because it doesn't count as a defensive structure. And he's not going to notice. And he could have just taken it out. They don't have much armor. And he's going to go back for it now, realizing that, hey, I can. T he's got a heroic pit bull. Where did he get a heroic pit bull from? Is that a veterancy bug? I don't even remember seeing it kill anything. It must have killed a lot, or maybe it is a veteran, a veteran bug. Firehawks coming in, what are they doing? Oh, it's gonna be, this is crazy. They're going into mass Firehawks, and he does manage to launch the Firehawks, that's massive. And he's gonna shoot down both the enemy Firehawks. That was a massive loss there, and an another V35 is in the skies here. Meanwhile, Unleashed Marvesting this, but he's gotta watch out. There are three behemoths there, and he's getting hit from his rear armor. He might actually lose his Marv if it goes into heavy damage, but he needs to get away from this area. And he's not quite in heavy damage mode, and he just managed to get out of range of these guys as well. Oh, shockwave artillery goes off, but the behemoths are not into position here. We have some units over here. Railguns is done for Unleashed, but uh, I think he's going to lose his Marv. I don't think he's going to be able to power up in time. The Juggernauts, yeah, the, or the behemoths are going to be able to take it out. And unfortunately, there for Unleashed, it's going to lose his Marv. He kind of did its, uh, kind of did its job. But Marv is still the field and made a lot of money. But uh, oh, he might be able to outrun it. I doubt he's going to be able to do that though. And uh, meanwhile, what's happening back here? Uh, Mammoth tanks all over the place. He's got sh he's got adaptive armor, so he doesn't have to worry about shockwave, even though he just it was just used up before. And we have uh, oh, buildings going down. Mammoth tanks moving through the center. Units moving through the center. I'm assuming firehawks were bombing something. I'm just jumping all over the map. There's firehawks there. They have their full upgrades. Unleash is always crazy on the upgrades. Doesn't matter what strategy he's doing, he always maxes out the upgrades for what uh, for the unit combinations. And that heroic pitbull is still alive. Uh, Master Leaf though, he's moving around here, there's a lot of tip to get, but of course, Unleashed still rocking four spikes, 40 credit a second, that's $400 in 10 seconds. Uh, six fours, that's, that's $2,400 a minute. I mean, in 10 minutes, that's like $22,400, if I did that right. I think I did. Did I do that right? I don't know. <laughs> Close enough, it's more than 20 grand. That's, that's massive. Like, you gotta remember that, and Un Unleashed isn't obviously, I mean, Master isn't obviously getting that. Uh, Grenada head going down, but oh no, that that uh, that Firehawk flows right in there. Mammoth tanks rolling into, into Master League's main base. It's gonna go down for sure, taking out Harvesters that are trying to leech here. I think he's going for another Marv. He's going for another Marv. He's gotta do something about these uh, behemoths. He's using Harvesters to fight now, but of course, these Mammoth tanks just ripping through Master League's base. He's gonna lose all of his infrastructure. There are four tanks here. He needs some, uh, he needs some more air power. I think he's going for Orcas again. Of course, he does have hard points. Hard pointed Orcas are great against Behemoths. They're a perfect counter, especially if you don't have uh, the Behemoths you need to counter this. And I don't think Unleash has a Space Uplink command either. And meanwhile, he's just leveling everything here. Titan's joining in on the action. Those Mammoth tanks are a little bit aisle at the moment, but he's moving through here. The Marv, I think he's gonna try to reverse move out of there. Firehawks flying around. Not sure what they're aiming for. Um, they could definitely probably just about bomb Master Leaf out of the game. He might want to move. Oh no, he's got an expansion. He's got an expansion up. He needs to power up that ref because he needs his harvesters to dock. He's probably desperate for cash. Harvesters coming in now, still being used as either targets or, or bad rallies, but he's going to be able to get that one away here. Marv is just chilling back here. Orca comes in, but it's all alone. It's going to get sniped down pretty quickly by these pit bulls here. And oh man, that heroic pit bull does so much damage. But of course... Uh, Master Leaf has no way to repair this force here, so the more damage it takes, the worse it's going to get for him. He, he still holds that tower. Does No, Unleashed holds the tower, I think. That is a blue emblem. Yeah, I think Unleashed holds the tower again, so that's going to help him out. And he's using infantry here to try to destroy the behemoths, but there's some rifleman squads inside the behemoths, and they're just going to move forward. And He's got AP ammo, so he's going to kill all of those guys. Of course, uh, unit uh, infantry firing from garrisons like that. Uh, CGF has uh, repaired the targeting a little bit, so they fire at their maximum range and they're a lot more effective. And Firehawks, when you see Firehawks being used to bomb uh, units, you know that he's getting desperate. And he does have enough to drop that behemoth, of course, taking a lot of damage. And uh, he's he's going to have to move these airfields. He's going to need a crane. He's already got a crane and airfield. He's already got it. And is that Master Leaf's Harvester? It is Master Leaf's Harvester. And the Marv is going to come up here and take care of that, of course. And uh, meanwhile, this is just crazy. The heroic people just leading the charge. These firehawks, they've got to get out of there. They have to evac now, and they're going to get, they're going to go. There they go. But yeah, he's going to need something. Oh, geez, he might lose a few. He might, he should have just stratified it out of there, I think, instead of flying normally. But uh, he's not going to lose any, and uh, he should be able to land them here. He's got hard points, so he's got enough uh, firehawks 
He only needs three to drop a significant building like a war factory or a ref. He's going to move these units down here, but can he take on so much infantry? There's so much infantry here, they don't have any upgrades because he's still talons. And uh, here come the Firehawks. What are they going to bomb? What are they going to bomb? One goes down. Did it drop all its bombs? I don't think so. The laser field's on anyway. It doesn't matter. And the Conyard from Unleashed is about to go down. He's repairing it, so maybe he's trying to save it. He's trying to build something from that airfield. I don't think that's uh, a good way to go about it. Mammoth Tank's rolling in now. He could use the adaptive armor on the front one just to absorb uh, are more damaged because of course they do take a lot more damage but he is going to roll into this base here and he just doesn't have any anti-infantry he's trying to obviously go for the crush move what's happening up here heroic people shooting up the firehawks on the deck that's never good looks like the mammoth tanks actually have managed to make their way through no railgun accelerators of course because he doesn't have a tech center and let's see what kind of damage he can do here i'm not sure i don't think he's going to be able to cause enough actually i mean these mammoth tanks still have a lot of health on them but uh there's orcas coming now and of course these heroic pit bulls uh, shooting up that one there. I'm not sure where the Marv is. Uh, the Marv is on its way over here. So uh, it is trying to do something. Is that uh, Firehawk? Last Firehawk remaining from Unleashed. And of course this last Mammoth tank is probably going to go down now. But of course he, oh, he just doesn't manage to take that out unfortunately. There's battle markers all over the place. What's going on here? It doesn't have an airfield. Oh no. This uh, veteran Hawk and he's, no, he's burning up. He doesn't have any. Oh he can actually build one. He's got a comm center. He might want to pop down an airfield because he's going to need it to save this Firehawk. Should really retain that one. And his MCV is still alive. His MCV is still alive. And uh, I can't believe that. He might be able to get this veteran behemoth. Oh he needed the Wolverine to finish it off for sure. Because uh, he needs to take that out. And he does manage to take it out. That's going to hurt him. So there's Behemoth Husk here and he's got a build radius too. Oh man. Uh, Master Leaf's going to have to do something, but the Marv is in between him and those husks. I think the Heroic Pitbull is going to have to go back and finish off these uh, these husks, but there's infantry there, so he's not going to be able to do too much. Unleash needs to secure those husks, and that Firehawk is still flying around. He's probably uh, not too long away from burning up. Doesn't look like Unleash is going to try to save it. And uh, we have all the Marv here. The Marv is going to go down to Mass Rockets. He's just trying to back away here, but I don't think he's going to get away. And uh, it's, does that, is that Unleashed Foxhole? I think it is his Foxhole in there. He just lost his Marv though. More battle markers up here. No, that's just the, oh no, the veteran Firehawk goes down. Can't rebuild that. He's got no tech center. He could have used it just to bomb power plants. But uh, now we have Orcas here from Master Leaf and he doesn't have any upgrades. Once again, uh, uh, Unleashed still rocking for Spike. I mean, this is crazy, and oh man, one of the Beamer Husks does go down. I'm not sure why he hasn't captured these Husks here, and now these infantry units, oh man, Unleash, you had so much time to get those Husks. He may not have realized they were there, perhaps. That's why he wasn't capturing them. But he's going for Orcas now. He needs AP ammo, and he's going for it. He's only got one ref, but he's got he's got like five Harvesters here, so he should be sitting pretty. He's got a Titan, not going to do too much at the moment. We have an Orca Strike coming in now, and that should be able to finish off one of the Husks. No, it doesn't, misses. And oh no. Oh no, Master Leaf is going to get these Behemoth Husks back, and that's going to be huge. That's going to allow him to siege the uh, MCV here and uh, cause a lot more damage to uh, Unleashed, of course. He might just want to sell that to MCV. He spent so much money repairing it as well. And he's going to lose that barracks. That Heroic Pitbull is still <laughs> on the front line here, just tanking it up. He might want to get Mortar for it. I mean, if he goes all the way to his tech, he can definitely get Mortar for it. But the MCV now, there's no point continuing to repair this. He's going to lose it. He puts a laser field on it. He's just spending so much money to keep it alive. But uh, to be honest, I think he's got a crane. He can sell it out of the game. I mean, it's costing him so much money to retain this, and he is going to lose it. There is a third combat engineer here uh, running for the MCV, but he's not going to be able to get it. And, uh, whoa, Master Leaf, what are you doing? Yeah, you might want to finish that off, bud. And uh, what do we have here? We have Orcas, four hardpoint Orcas, so they should be able to take out the uh, the Behemoth Est. He has a, no, he's going to go for the Pitbull. He's, he, he's got to commit. He's got to take it out. He loses one Orca, but he, no, he loses two Orcas, but he took it out. And I think that was worth it to get rid of that Heroic Pit finally. And uh, this MCV finally going down. He does lose another Orca. He might lose all of them. No, I think he's just going to escape. No, he doesn't escape without their Heroic Rockets finish it off. And he just picked up the Husk again with the Spare Combat Engineer. So he's still rocking those two behemoths, which are basically stepping on each other at the moment. <laughs> that was pretty weird. I uh, really hope in the new, uh, new Command & Conquer they fix vehicle collisions so vehicles can never overlap. Um, I just think that'll be a lot better. Infantry doesn't matter too much about infantry, but... Uh, oh, he's actually getting some repairs on these guys here. I'm not sure why he's pulled those off the line. He's trying to move back around here, but again, what's happening? Unleashed pulling, out, putting in a, pulling in a lot of tip, and he's going for rocket heads, which is a pretty good choice. He's got AP ammo. Uh, he should be able to do a lot of work with those. And, uh, and Master Leaf, of course, doesn't have too much. Again, there's two Spike here, and now he's finally realized, like, holy crap, he needs to... Oh, there's actually a Titan here from Unleashed, and he's going to prevent him from capturing it, so uh, that's pretty cool. 
Might want to start shooting at those uh, pit bulls there. Let's see how many shots it takes to kill a pit bull. It takes three shots with railguns to kill a pit bull. I think that's the same as if they had a cannon. Um, so it doesn't really help too much there. Again, with bike buggy, it still takes two shots from a railgun titan to kill a bike, which is a real pain because yeah, it's a $4,000 upgrade. And uh, he has got rocket heads here. He's going to be able to shoot down Master Leaf's only hammerhead there. Take it out of the sky. That's the last of uh, Master Leaf's air power here. Still got a harvester chilling by the war factory, picking up some repairs. And now he's going for more pit bulls, of course. Uh, hammerheads can kite the pit bulls, but they will definitely help him out. And, and Unleashed has moved to the expansion over here, and he's cleaning that up. He's got behemoths and infantry moving down here, but the hammerheads, they're more than up to the task of taking that down. There is a comm center, though, so he's going to have double A capabilities once he gets up there. And we have a uh, we have an orca here from Masterly. He's not going to be doing too much damage. He, I mean, he's, he could sell the crane. He doesn't, I don't think he needs to... Oh, jeez, other then... I don't think he needs to keep the crane. He is actually putting Raftman squads into that, uh, is he putting it? Yeah, he's putting it into the heavy harvester. And here come the hammerheads and they're just gonna clean all that up. They don't even care. They're gonna take out one of these uh, one of these behemoths as well. They might want to uh, finish off the husk this time because uh, Master Leaf has gained back his husk. So, oh no, watch out, those guys are overlapping. He's gonna lose at least one. Yeah, he lost one, but that was okay. He did a lot of damage in that strike. I think that's gonna be fine. And uh, of course now there's only one behemoth, or there's a, one husk left which he's going to be able to recapture. Not a problem at all I don't imagine, but uh, it looks like Master Leaf has taken both the bottom spikes finally. So he has, uh, he has secured himself half the spikes on the map. Surprised that they're all alive still. And he does take out the harvester which was full of Tiberium which is really going to hurt Unleashed. You might want to put down some APMO watchtowers here because he's going to need something to take out these pits. There's a lot of pit bulls here. I'm not sure what his answer is to these ones here. He can't really use too many hammerheads in this situation because it's not cost effective unless he can kite like crazy. And he is going to try to kite, but he's just going to lose. I think, oh, there's a tie in here. There's two tie here. Oh, that's the reinforcements he needed. All the hammerheads are still alive. Again, he might want to put down a, uh, an airfield here so they can get repairs right on the front line. Something going down over there. It must have been an orca. I think Master Leaf doesn't have any airfields left. I'm not going to check, though. I want to see what's happening over here. And it looks like that one behemoth is still alive. One of the Titans is down, and I don't think he should bother going for the behemoth. He should just uh, kill some of these pitfalls here. But he's in danger of losing this base now, and he's going to lose his last harvester here as well. And uh, that's going to be uh, the end of this base. Again, no, no APMA watchtowers at all. He could have used some of them to, to deflect some of the pitfalls. Master Leaf doesn't have a war factory here, so if he wants repairs, he's going to have to drive them a long way. No, he actually just sold off his war factory. Could probably sell a rep as well. Um, I think he's planning on putting one down. He just lost his uh, behemoth. I'm not sure why I actually destroyed that. <laughs> but he's just picked it straight back up again. And he's going to get some repairs on it. And it uh, looks like he is going to be able to take out a few of these rockets. Yeah, and, and he might want to decide to pull his uh, MCB out of here. What's he got going? He's actually rushed back to a Marv. Now, this could be good. He, he might want to make a heavily anti-infantry Marv and then build Orcas. But uh, the MCV, it's not going to get up that ramp. It's not going to get... He's going to have to come back down as he's going to lose it. Oh, no, it's on the ramp and there's no chance of deploying that now. And Unleashed has realized way too late and he's just getting trapped. And, oh, man, he's going to lose the MCV. It goes down. That is not good. That was a massive blow for him. He still has the crane and, of course, he's, he sold off one of his war factories. He should be okay here. If the Pitbulls can take out the Reclamator Hub... I mean, I don't imagine they would be able to. I'm not sure how much money he's got. He's sold off his war factory, and he could even sell his tech center off. He doesn't actually need it. Um, I think uh, Master Leaf should just go for the harvesters here, uh, because there's something that he can destroy. And there's one harvester there with a full load of, of tib. I always said blue tib then. Master Leaf, what are you doing? He's driving around in circles. He could easily take out that uh, harvester there, but he's going to be in range of the Marv now, and he does... No, he doesn't get, he doesn't get the harvester. That was pretty big. Whose hammerheads are these? Are these unleashed? They are unleashed. Where did you pull those hammerheads from? <laughs> oh, that's right. He didn't lose them, did he? He managed to get them repaired somehow. I didn't even see. What have they been doing? Have they been harassing him in the meantime? I haven't even been looking at that. Master Leaf's going to clean up the rest of that. He could probably sell off that side. That's not going to be too important at the moment. I'm not sure where the behemoth is. I'm assuming he's he's obviously taken out the behemoth with these uh, hammerheads because uh, it's gone and the husk is gone. Oh, watch out for those pit bulls unleashed. Watch out. You can't really afford to leave your hammerheads by themselves. And he is going to manage to escape with those just. So nice work there. And now Unleashed just pumping out the infantry. He's got one tower. He could take the other tower in the imp center. I mean, at the stage of the game, you might as well. I mean, you're here. You've got engineers close by. You could easily take those ones here. But this game is still going. Both sides struggling to mass up some form of... Uh, of um... Oh, he's actually built out another MCV far out. He is actually leeching this field down here. So he definitely wants to go back to his build. But of course, Unleash, he's got a crazy amount of upgrades. He's obviously got uh, Railguns and he's got Adaptive, he's got AP Ammo, he's got both the air upgrades as well. So he's very heavily invested. Where Master Leaf has basically got AP Ammo 
and that's it. That's his only upgrade he's invested in the whole game, and I think that's maybe why Unleash has been winning in these one-on-one -on -one engagements. He just has the upgrades, and they're just doing a lot better. And here come the Orcas, but of course these Hammerheads have rockets in them, and he's got heroic rockets, and he's going to smash these Orcas. He's kiting around them, and oh no, Master Leaf is getting picked apart. He's getting picked apart. These Hammerheads, he's got no answer. He needs either Firehawks. He needs something. I don't think Pitbulls are going to cut it. He might need to build a slingshot or two, but these Hammerheads now, they've got heroic units in them. They're just becoming so powerful. Oh, all the Harvesters are overlapping. All the Harvesters are overlapping. And now, lastly, he's in disarray. He's got nothing to count on the Marv. He's got no MP Steel Talons. He's building Titans, but they don't have any upgrades at all. That is not going to help him. And Unleashed all of a sudden has Master Leaf on the ropes. He was trying to get up Orca's support, uh, Orca air power to destroy the Mar, but of course he just doesn't have the counter to the Hammerheads, which are actually acting as very strong anti-air because they've got such heavily ranked up units inside of them. And he's going to easily be able to escape over the rift. And Master Leaf is forced to call it their fire. Unleashed just uh, ex <laughs> showing his power there in that game. At the end, I didn't I didn't realize I was going to end at that point in time. I thought the game was going to go on for a little bit longer then, but uh, Master Leaf just didn't have an answer to that, did he? I think he must, like, he kind of needed to re-tech. If he, if he went for air, he needed to go for something that could take out the Hammerheads. Again, uh, it's just hard to counter that when uh, Unleash has got that right then and there. And, of course, his Micro was on point in that last engagement, not losing any of those Hammerheads and just destroying so many Orcas. Uh, that was a massive win for him. Uh, he might have, he probably should have gone for a... Uh, I mean, you think if he went for Tungsten, he could have used air defenses there, but he, there's no real reason to get Tungsten up until that point in time. I mean, he did have Firehawks and things like that in the early game, so maybe he should have got it. But uh, I think, yeah, uh, Master League definitely needed a tech center to help counter that because he didn't have brute force in numbers at his lower tech. And of course, no M grenades is really going to hurt, hurt him. If he had M grenades, no worries. He's going to M the Marvel and then just sat double A all around it while continuing to M it. He would have been fine. But of course, not to be 173,000 to Unleash and only 123,000 to Master Leaf. We had $50,000 in favor of Unleashed in a 20, 24 minute game. Uh, that's that's pretty significant. Like, look at this. He literally just ripped his way, like, and I guess that's maybe why, it's why he won it. It didn't feel like he had that much more money than Master Leaf, but Master Leaf was getting served. And uh, it's interesting that the kill death ratio is so similar. It's 0.93 to 0.97. I'm not sure what Unleashed, what, um, what Master Leaf poured all of his, uh, his money into, but the structures, I mean, Unleashed created uh, about 13 more structures. What have we got here? Structures sold pretty even. Master Leaf created more units, but I guess he just created a lot of cheaper units, whereas uh, Unleashed built a lot more expensive units, and of course he spent so much more on upgrades. Unleashed had way more upgrades, and uh, that's probably why he ended up coming through and winning a lot there, but uh, that was a pretty good Steel Talons Mirror. I hope you all enjoy that game, and uh, I'll see you all next time.